I want to announce live <laughs> this on the Rich go? Shields Golf Show Where podcast. Where is this going to go? That this golf club to my right. So if you're watching, right. you'll see it. <laughs> if, if you're if you're listening, <laughs> I want to announce live. I'm doing Quest for the Open 2022. <laughs> I honestly thought you were like, uh, Rick, I'm quitting and I'm going to go and try and do PJ Tour. Oh, that's, that, that's coming next week. Um, but my announcement is this, and this obviously goes out saying, that means that it's not a paid for thing, clearly. The Ping G425 Max 3-Wood, or I'll say Furwood Family, in my opinion, and I don't want to hear people's comments below, so comment below okay. if you're watching this clip or emails if you're listening. This golf club is the best golf club that's been made in the last 10 years. It's like a skyed one. I have one. Yes, I have. <laughs> I fired one off the rough a little bit and it came up the top. But honestly, the dry, I've got the matching driver and the G425 Max, for me, this is the driver I'm talking about firstly, is very forgiving. It's not the longest in the world, but it's very forgiving. And the only downside to the, the driver, I would say, is I'm not a huge fan of the looks of turbulators. They just, just don't look that great. I don't think they do anything either. For me, I don't mind the looks. It's the sound. Yeah, and the driver is quite loud in sound. Kind of loud. So if anyone tries the, G, the ping driver, I wouldn't be surprised if most people love it, but also a lot of people say, oh, it's a bit loud. The three considering wood. you've not had this very long, you've hit it a lot, haven't you? Uh, honest, the three wood, right? So three was still quite loud, so it's a little bit tingy noise. So if you're not a fan of that, but the the flatness of the bottom, I know you can't see this on, on video, but the flatness, I'm hitting the roof, the flatness of the bottom. Yeah, it's very well shaped. Honest to God, I've hit it so much now. It's so forgiving. Do you know what it reminds me of? Unbelievable. <clears throat> a little bit shape-wise, the Adam's tight lines. Yes, it does. That flatness. So this got me thinking of a broader topic, Rick. Uh, that's my shout, but I think that is, honest to God, the best golf club that's been made in the last 10 years. So I've put a thing on my Instagram story asking people to comment. I want to hear your thoughts. If that's not the best golf club, which you may not think it is, what is the best golf club that's been made in the last 10 years? Give us some re give us some responses. We've had a had lot first. of people saying the tailor-made P790 irons because they yeah. kind of were one of the first. I know PXG kind of did it first, but they were one of the first hollow head designs by a, a major brand that kind of incorporated distance and forgiveness, but then the looks and feel of a yeah. better player's irons. That is yeah. a great shout. We've had a lot of people saying the um, the tailor-made M2 driver, 2016, 2017 iterations, they were phenomenal. They yeah. were forgiving. They looked good. They went a long way. Uh, we've had a lot of people say two ball, but actually two ball, believe it or not, 20 years old yeah, now. Exactly. So I know there's been iterations of two ball launched in the last 10 years, but ultimately that kind of innovation, if you like, is a bit older. I've got the 20 year old two ball in the bag currently. Uh, yeah. Oh, unbelievable putter, so let's good. be honest. So the, the, I think the two ball, I mean, it was a combination of feel, that, that white hot insert, which wasn't new at the time, but just felt awesome with the simplicity of this, these two yeah. discs that were so the same clever. size as a golf ball. is unreal. A few people are saying Taylor made Spider. Uh, a lot of people, and I think you'll agree with this, are saying F9, driver Cobra F9. Yeah. I think that was a combination of performance with price, with looks, with a brand that was established, but also kind of felt quite new on the scene. It kind of reinvent. Um, sorry. It reinvented itself, Cobra, didn't it? It went yeah, from having like an old man brand to yeah, quite yeah. cool again. I think they lost away a bit. They tried to go too cool, Ricky Fowler. Um, so there's been a lot of different shouts. But honestly, I know, again, so much of a golf club is personal. So you're never going to find one golf club. So this is kind of a bit of a silly question in a sense. But I think there is some clubs that just seem to be so good. And I think the G425 family, in particular the Furway, it's honest to God, it's class. Seriously, it's so good. My stool just, my stool just sunk then, and I uh, suddenly had this envision that I was on a roller coaster that was about to crash. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I agree with a lot of, of ones there, but I'd probably, I'm trying to think, <clears throat> if I went to the driving range right now, bumped into a group of guys, and they were looking at the golf clubs, mm -hmm. And they were showing, oh, Rick, look, look at this I've got in the bag. What would I, what would I literally want to pull out the bag and go, oh, my God, you've got one of these? Like, that's prob that's the best golf club in the last X Epic's been another big shout as well. A Callaway Epic driver, the first iteration. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd probably... Mm, God, this is a hard one. It's hard to put a, num a, a number one thing on it. I, I'd probably go... Best drive. Probably would go M2, mm. original M2. Like if I saw, if I went to a drive range now and a guy went, oh, the, what driver have you got? And I pulled out and they had original M2. I'd be like, oh yeah, that is one of the best drivers ever. Yeah. And I still probably would give it original over the next version. I still just think the original was just, just, yeah. 
Do you think it's weird how, like, we know that there's lots of, obviously, rules in place by the RNA and the USJ, et cetera, about how far golf club technology can go. But yet, there's still a product every now and again, i.e. a ping driver this year. Yeah. I think it's great on the field. You, you know, you're right. The M2 was phenomenal. SLDR was good. But well, uh, well, I feel like that's where, where like, SLDR was was very revolutionary yes. in the fact it was 17 degrees of, of launch, 1,700 spin. And then I felt like that was unmanageable. And yeah. then the M2 and the M1s were like, well, okay, we're going to embed a bit of we'll that. work on that. But we're just going to make it a little bit more forgiving. Well, that's the thing. That's like, yeah, these com- there's these things in place, but yet there still can be products come out that change the game. And I think Definitely. that's what is exciting. Why, even though, again, most people listening fully understand that, you know, it's not going to be driving next year. That's only 20 yards longer. It's not going to happen. But yeah, every year could be that club. Mm, Another shout in the break 75 that's coming soon. I didn't have my club. So I borrowed some from the, from the golf club and I had the new, uh, rogue ST driver and the Callaway rogue ST fairway, which are again, phenomenal golf clubs. I was very, very impressed with them. And I think this year actually, it's becoming a bit of a almost like an overachieving year with golf clubs because when we saw all the stuff at the start of the year, I was super excited. Is your chair going down again? I keep sinking. I was super excited about stealth, which again we've talked about before. I'm not going to repeat myself on that. But this year, I think we've still got the ping stuff. This is current, which again I keep t- talking about. We've then got this new Callaway lineup that didn't like, excite us when it came out. It didn't look that different, but performs very well. The, Cobra, the Cobra stuff again, yeah. same story. It didn't look that exciting, but performs very well. The back end of the year, I think we should have Titleist again. So it's actually one of those years where there are going to be some really good products. And it feels like there's a lot of drives out there that offer forgiveness. Yeah. If you're after forgiveness, this is a good year to buy a driver. It's almost like-